Hello Mayhem Makers, I'm Mindy with Quilting Mayhem and welcome to the Christmas Sampler Sew Along. Today we're going to make the gnome block. So this one's fairly simple. As you see, I've got my pieces cut out. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Trirex ruler uh, that it calls for to make the specific angle triangle and half triangle blocks uh, for this design. So uh, give us just a minute. We're actually just gonna move that camera and we'll get right to how to make this block. All right, so we're going to focus first on how to use the Trirex ruler. So you have a triangle and uh, what I would call kind of a rectangle cut in half on the diagonal, which is meant to make these setting triangles for your nice funky triangle. Uh, what's nice about these is they give you the little notch marks so everything should line up nice and pretty. Um, so let's show you kind of how it's cut. So it's pretty simple. You can start with a strip however wide you want your piece. So if you need the three and a half inch triangle, do a three and a half inch strip. Now if you're trying to just cut squares, keep in mind um, that the base of the triangle is actually bigger. So even though you have a three and a half inch height, you actually have a wider base. So if I'm trying just to cut out some different fabrics, make sure you're cutting them larger so that you get the full width of the base and the height of the triangle. So keep that in mind. But for this purpose, it's pretty simple. I've got just a three and a half inch strip. I'm going to line the three and a half inch mark onto the base of that strip and cut both sides. And it does take the top off of that triangle. You don't have a point. Um, and that's just for the purposes of trying to line everything up, which is nice. If you're trying to do these side units, it's pretty easy. Um, same concept, three and a half inches. I'm just lining up the three and a half mark on the base of my three and a half inch strip, and then I'm going to cut. Same concept if you're trying to cut out squares first and then trim down to these funky triangles. Um, make sure you have your base a little bit wider and then make sure you take this little notch off of the top so that it has that little piece off so that when you do go to line things up everything has a notch so we'll show you here because you don't want to look at black on black you won't see anything um, that way we're going to line it up so that it has a what we call a dog ear here and then if you looked at the other side you're going to have a dog ear on the other end and then I'm going to take it to the machine do my quarter inch seam and we'll come back and show you what it looks like all right so as you can see we have both sides on nice and pressed and everything comes out there's a little dog ear here and there and I'm going to trim those up so these are supposed to be four and a half and magically they come out the way they should be uh, which makes me very happy uh, and so if you know me we're gonna do a little trimming I don't like having that little excess because every little extra that you have is what can throw your quilt off so I'm just kind of centering my ruler trimming off those little schnibbles and the little dog ears because they bug me um, before adding in the next pieces. The rest of this guy, he's pretty simple. You're going to put some strips at the top and bottom of the body and at the bottom of the hat. The only other piece I'm really gonna show you that's semi-important, pretty simple. You've already done uh, the method before. See, nice and pretty, is just drawing lines and stitching to make these little corners. So there's two side strips that are gonna go next to your gnome body. And they're the two long red strips and then it has the background squares. So just make sure when you do these guys, you draw your diagonals. And then we're going to make sure that when we place them on these rectangles, that they're going the correct way. So you can always test it out, kind of hold your finger flip it and go, okay, yes, this one's going this way, 
and the top one for this side needs to go the opposite direction so just be mindful when you're laying these guys down that you do need them to kind of go outwards so you can just kind of do a little test before you do it you're going to sew straight on that line trim your quarter inch from the sewn line to take the little excess triangles off and then be ready to go so this side is of course the opposite so make sure those diagonals are going opposite directions of each other or your body pieces aren't going to come out the way you want them to and same for the top so it's going to give them kind of a chubby little body i'm going to take this to the machine we'll put some pieces together and we'll come back and show you how it looks all right so we have our rectangles as you can see I trimmed off the excess, I pressed them open because I like pressing open. Otherwise, press to your outer dark sides or if you're using a light background, press into the red. Uh, you can see I've already added these little sashing pieces to the top and bottom of the beard and the bottom of the hat. So this guy is going to be pretty simple. We're going to put these pieces onto the sides, these pieces onto these sides, and then top to bottom. So I'll take him to the machine and we'll show you how he looks when he's all done. All right, so here you have happy little gnome, nice little points, everything came out nice, even in the way it should be. So hopefully it goes as seamlessly for you as it did for me, and have a good evening until next week. Happy stitching!